Atmospherics are becoming correct, and you might be prepared to see the onslaught of mind-blowing sorcery that is coming your way, my friends. I have had the honor of knowing this gentleman, and I say gentleman, for over one decade now. Although I can never say we've ever been terribly good friends, this is because he's a difficult gentleman to get to know, owing to his incredibly unusual travel schedule. Such is his devotion to the arts that he has traveled to the four corners of the world to seek out the strangest, the most unusual, sometimes the most dangerous methods to hone his magician's craft to a bleeding razor's edge, such that it can cut your mind in twain. Why, I remember once that I encountered him in the high reaches of the Nepalese mountains whereupon he vanished into a bluish mist. I recall once on an island in the South Seas, which has no name, he beguiled a gaggle of villagers using nothing more than a golden rod and a hoop, a hoop made of human bones. And finally, once I had the privilege of attending a performance of his uh, for the Crown Prince of Brisbane, Prince Ingram, in exotic Australia. He sung an aria of such magnificence that the audience were seen to weep precious jewels from their very eyes. <laughs> to conclude, he opened his mouth and exhaled a cloud of technicolor bees which still plagues the wildlife in the area to this very day. I wondered how he would get home. I asked, would he be taking the aeroplane with me? And he said nothing. He simply winked and summoned a rainbow and walked away into the clouds. And until this very night, that has been my last encounter with him. And so, friends, hold your breath, brace your mind, and prepare yourself for Wes Barker in the Great Ish Magic Show ever! <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> I brought so many drinks because I did not know how tonight was going to go, you know? Oh, my God. Uh, sorry, I told, uh, I told him that I said, you got to give me a minute. Me and Chris have to change mics. And then he did all that. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't ready for that. I brought too many drinks. Um... Yeah, we, we know how tonight's going to go. I don't know why I brought the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Why the brown bags, eh? On the street, who are they fooling? Vanish. Never, Never works. Magic! Okay. <laughs> What did he do? Chris has everything out now. Oh, yeah, this one. Good. Good. Cleaning up after the opening acts. Amazing. <laughs> Fun. So funny when your opening acts more famous than you. That's always cool, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm stoked to be here, guys. Thanks for coming out. It really, really uh, means a lot to me. And uh, we're going to do some magic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, I know when I walk out and all this happens and there's a lot going on so far and you guys are like, this guy is just too good looking to be a magician. <laughs> right. <laughs> right in the front, she's like, no. <laughs> Very calm, but just no. <laughs> what, what's your name? Shelly. Shelly. All right, Shelly, let's do this. <laughs> okay. 
It's the first step to a good day for us, all right? You're going to rate me on a scale of 1 to 10, okay? Very theatrically. I'm going to pull the cards out one at a time, and you just stop me whenever it makes sense, okay? Don't be influenced by others. <laughs> just, no. <laughs> Didn't really expect that one, in all honesty. Ryan Reynolds exists. I get it. A nine. No one can. Got your glasses on? <laughs> nope, okay, wow. <laughs> no, okay. You're gonna step down a little slower now. No, they're not even in order. Yeah, that's not the one. No, that's not the one, yeah. Right? Thank God. I don't even know why that's in there. What the hell? <laughs> There's not every number. You have to stop me eventually. We can put some back if you want to go back to the 8.99. No? One time one lady's like, you're a five. <laughs> Obviously not. I went in the audience. I found a guy that was a five. I brought him on stage. I was like, look at the difference. Right? <laughs> you're good, man. I won't do it. I promise. I won't. Picked a very attractive man to say that to. He's large too. I don't know why I did that. There's someone shorter I can talk to. You gotta stop me eventually, okay? How about boom? Sure. Sure. Wow. All right, I'll tell you this. We can put one back. We can go one more, or we can stay here. Yeah. Are you sure? 7.5? It is what I wrote on the back, so it makes sense. Oh, oh, magic! <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a miracle. He knows exactly how attractive he is. Yay! <laughs> so dumb. I love it so much. I don't even need this right now. Just the extra bonuses for you guys, <laughs> going the extra mile. Uh, I have a lot of weird props today that I'm really excited about, so I'm going to get into those uh, pretty quick here. Um, they involve, um, well, sort of some things from my childhood, a lot of these things, not, not all of them, not exclusively that, but a few things. Uh, let's see here, I'm going to borrow somebody really quickly, this will be more fun if we do that. Uh, she, immediately she's just like, this guy, <laughs> so rough. Uh, keep going. Um, let, yeah, sure. What's your name? Richard. Cool. Can you introduce me to the lady that introduced you? This is my wife, Amy. Amy. Amy, everybody. Come on, Amy. Here she comes. Come on, Amy. Come on down, Amy. You can't just sell your, your husband out without just, uh, you know, coming down yourself. So Amy's going to join us on stage. I'm going to borrow some money really quickly. So Amy, everyone clap for Amy. Here she comes. Amy, right, right there is a good spot. Yeah? Feel good? Nice. Okay. And you're married to that guy. Does he, does he have any money in his wallet, do you think, right now? Cash? Uh, what do you think? Bill? Yeah. That's, for, that's for a good show. This is the great-ish show, okay? I need to step it up a little bit off the five. Who's got, without looking right now in their wallet, do you got a 20 in your wallet? No. 10? No, Only change. Got you got a 20? What's your name, sir? Jay. Jay's got a 20 in his wallet. This is a tiny wallet. He's a huge man. That's amazing to me. Okay, let's take the whole thing. Oh my goodness, where the hell? Okay, tucked way in there. Can you take out Jay's 20? It'll be fun. And Yeah, exactly. And you're going to write your name on it, which is going to be fun too. You're going to sign your name on it. Really big. Sign your name on, on his initials. This receipt came out. Do you want the receipt? Really? Yeah, yeah really big right here. So when I hold it up in the back, they'll be able to see. Initials, initials, really huge. Really huge. Yeah. And display it like a magician would. Be fine. Display it like a magician would. Or like that, that's good too, yeah. I just want to know what you think my job is. <laughs> it's really... that's great. All right, Amy? Okay. Confetti cannon. You ever played with one of these? Super fun. Drop the pen on the ground, we don't need that. You gonna hold the 
That is what I said, so that makes sense. Uh, just hold it out in front of you like this so no one, like, don't shoot it and just don't, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Don't do anything right now. Just stop. Hold up higher. Oh, hold it up higher. Yeah. Okay, I don't want you to shoot yourself in the face. Don't want you to do anything. <laughs> so fun. All right. Now, uh, everyone remember very clearly, she's holding the confetti cannon, and I still have the money. We haven't done anything yet. It's going to be very important in a minute, because some magicians will take a $20 bill, and they'll fold it very small, and they'll turn it into a dove. <laughs> we all know I'm not going to do that. So I just do like, it's gone. Oh, this stripper's good. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? No. <laughs> no? Okay. It's vanished. I know you don't know where it is. Would you believe it if it was in, I said it was in your left shoe? <laughs> no. You wouldn't believe that at all. No, I wouldn't believe that. Would you believe it if I told you that earlier I emptied out the confetti cannon and inside the confetti cannon I took one of those toy soldiers from my childhood that have like a little parachute on them <laughs> and to those I attached a little uh, bulldog clip? Yeah, because it's weird enough, right? Can you try and shoot that confetti cannon straight up and let's see? Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, let's. Remember straight. Remember straight? Yeah. And then just turn. It'll be fun. Perfect. Didn't lie to you. Parachute man, bulldog clip. See how there's a $20 bill attached to that? There's something attached to it. Isn't that a $20 bill? It's very exciting, isn't it? I'm super excited. Oh, my goodness. He's really attached there. We didn't want him to fall out. Yeah, it's really cool. So, whose money was this again? Jay's money. But it has my name on but it. But it has your name on it. It couldn't possibly have your name on it. <laughs> you may keep that. That's on me. You worked very hard for it. Thank you very much, Amy. Amy, everybody. Thank you. Big round of applause for Amy. Thank you very much. You take your seat. Keep that $20. You worked so hard for it. She gave it back? No, she's going to keep it. This is amazing. I don't know what's going to happen. Is she really keeping it? Fuck. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Well, if she's going to keep your money, then I'm going to return this. I thought it was a credit card. It turns out it's just your uh, driver's license. Jason. Okay, that's you right there? Okay, I thought it was a credit card. My bad. Sorry, man. Is she not giving it back yet? Good Lord. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, I didn't. Magic. God. So that rolled longer than I thought. Okay. <laughs> oh, now we're doing it. It's fun to be here. I'm so glad you guys came out. There's an interesting thing that happens when you become a magician. Is people always say things like, uh, "Like you must be good with kids." That's pretty common. Or, um, "How'd you get into it?" That's another really common one. And the weird thing about how you get into being a magician is, uh, it's sort of just. It just happens to a certain type of person. Uh, normally it happens a little younger. For me it happened when I was like 19. But some people it happens a lot younger. And uh, I didn't really know there was a type that was a magician until I became a magician. Because I was, like I said, 19, 20. I already had normal uh, interactions in my life. <laughs> which I didn't know was a rarity. And then, uh, and then I, I got uh, some YouTube success. I got on some TV shows. And then I got really popular among magicians. And they were inviting me out to do a, a, a magic lecture at a magic conference for the International Brotherhood of Magicians. These are real words I said. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're my people. Uh, what fell? Oh, OK. I thought it was my can. It was not balanced so well. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, a, a card trick here. I like to do a card trick for you guys. Do you like card, you like card tricks? Yeah. yeah. All right. I won't waste your Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I should have done these on separate things. Okay. Oh, yes. Magic. All right. So, do a card trick for you guys. Won't be like a 
Chris Ramsey card trick. This one's going to be a good one. And, uh, and he was taking shots at me. I heard that comment. Mom's basement. There he is. I knew you were somewhere. Weirdo. All right. Can you pick a card for us? Pick a card, any card. Remember that. Yeah. Everybody can remember it? If you can't see, it's the seven of diamonds. <laughs> remember that. Very important. Okay, they think I saw it. We have to do it again. <laughs> Take it over. It doesn't matter. Anyone you want to grab it. Yeah, sure. Remember it? Remember, it's the seven of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, they're all different. I wouldn't fuck with you guys. Okay? Okay. Yeah, right? Oh, wow. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> we got my, uh, my one markers all taken care of there. Okay. Oh. No. Oh! There's just enough booze in that. We'll be okay. All right, what's your name? Rachel. Rachel, can you, can you write your name on there? Sure. Rachel, you're not in a relationship, are you? I am in. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I don't know if you guys can hear her accent, but for me that's so weird because I don't know where that accent's from. And then I said, you're in a relationship, and she writes on a playing card and says, well, I am now. And I go, what fucking country are you from that when you sign a playing card, you're now in a relationship with that person? It's so weird. <laughs> okay. So your significant other, their name is? Jay. Jay. Well, we'll just say Wes. Make it easy. Well, fuck Jay. Okay. We'll write Wes. That's easier. And then we'll write forever. No, we'll write for now. We'll write for now. For now is better. It's so much easier. Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Jay's so incredibly large. This is great. Chris, you got my back, right? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's okay. It's okay. So this is our card. You guys, doesn't matter. It's just a card. Okay. Magic. I'm calling it before it happens. All right. Would you be impressed if I shot out of the deck behind my back and caught it? Yeah. Me too. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, that was so scary. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> those idiots in high school, they were dating girls. <laughs> Learn those magic tricks, right? Most magicians shuffle for real. I just pretend to shuffle. I always keep one in my pocket in case I accidentally do shuffle for real, and I'm, I'm good to go. I just have it in my pocket. You know what I mean? Makes sense, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, where is that? Jay, can you cross out my name and add your name to it? Because I think that makes more sense. Because you're going to be really upset when this trick ends and I give you a souvenir with my name on it. <laughs> you're going to be so sad. Okay. So, just, we're just adding to the card. Everyone can see? Yeah? Okay. Uh, and how's your shuffling skills? No? Give it a mix. Mix it up. It'll be fun. Just a quick shuffle. Nothing too exciting. Don't worry about it. No, whatever you want. It's fine. Just shuffle them. Whatever. It's all good. I just don't want you to think I have them in some particular order or something. Here. Oh, well. I'm, just, I'm not looking at them to see where the card is. I'm looking at them to see, like, damn. <laughs> That's all right. No, it's okay. That's why I didn't bring you on stage in case it wasn't good. <laughs> I'm not saying it wasn't good, but all right. <laughs> it was a real person shuffle. Here we go. All right. I'm going to stick these on here. Uh, this isn't magic, guys. <laughs> okay. I don't want you to think that I think that you think this is magic, okay? <laughs> this is just tape. <laughs> all right. See, a couple people like... Yeah, this is tape. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Now, if you go to a comedian show later, they would write jokes for this section, but I like the quiet, you know? <laughs> just, like, just like the quiet concentration and reflection of what could happen. Yep, just us hanging out, wondering, does he have enough space for all the cards? You're wondering, I'm wondering. I'm not wondering so much anymore. I'm done wondering. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
I predict it's not one of these. <laughs> I hope so. All right. <sighs> uh, did you guys have Nerf guns when you were kids? Yeah, yeah me too. I'm the youngest. Uh, round of applause if you're the youngest sibling. Yeah. When you're the youngest, you got to get creative. You really do. So when we had Nerf battles, me and my brother, um, I would modify my guns naturally. So first modification I made, uh, laser pointer right away. Attach a laser pointer. You know what I mean? <laughs> so much more accurate. Right? Yeah, he didn't stand a chance. Uh, and then the, the second uh, modification I made, and I keep these in a special spot here, is, um, is I, uh, I glued a sewing needle inside. Yeah. Yeah. I have only two colors in my case here. I have green and orange. Orange, there's no sewing needle. You're fine. Have you see an orange dart coming at you? It's fine. You see a green one? Push a friend in front. Okay? Okay, good. So if you see a green one flying at you, you don't want to get hit by that. Let's practice with an orange one. Jesus. All right. Okay. Have you ever used one of these bad boys? They're deadly. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it. Think I can get it? No. Oh. Would have been sick. Uh, doesn't matter. In a minute, there's going to be a blindfold. Would you like to look at the blindfold for me, Jay? Would you like to check out the blindfold? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see through the blindfold? No, I cannot. Right? Do you want to try shooting with the blindfold on? It'll be fun. Put the blindfold on yourself, Jay. Just put it on. Yeah, you're going to... I'm not going to give you the other one. Let's try and hit this mother... Oh. This laser's clearly off. Chris, where are your laser guys? Jade, did you drop the blindfold? Done. <laughs> Let's see if this blindfold works. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I want you guys to know that if that blindfold didn't work, he probably would have shielded himself. Jay, take off the blindfold. I'll take my third shot of this bad boy. Hey. Put yeah. a little beer in the case. Okay. It works though, right? Because you would have defended yourself, clearly. Yeah. All right, hang on to my gun. Okay. All right. Now. I say, do you remember your card, but it doesn't matter because you wrote your name on it. Yep. Hang on a sec. Before I do this, I'm going to want to get the thing I'm going to shoot. Here we go. All right. I'm going to shoot one of you, bad boy. Yeah, not at you. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> you guys aren't nervous because you've never seen this trick before. All right, Jay. Here we go, baby. Give me the gun. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. All right. Uh, Jay? Yeah. Jay, you're going to be the only one talking to me, okay? Because okay. this is really hard to do. So I'm putting, I'm putting the dart in, okay? Yeah. Is the laser still on? The laser's on. Yeah. The laser's on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Hang on. <laughs> okay, now if the dart, if the laser's on you, you go, no, don't fucking do it. Like that, okay? Like really loud? Okay. All right. Jay? Help me find the board. Okay. To your right? Yep. To your right? To your right there. You're on the board. I'm on the board. Okay. All right. Am I in the middle of the board? You're on the left edge. All right. Middle of the board. Right here? Yep. Nice. All right. Let's find the bottom. That's the bottom. Okay. okay. Top. That's the top. Lower. Oh, top. Right here? Yep. And the right side? Uh, back over left there, right oh. side. -ish. So confusing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how far am I from the board? You're on the board. No, no. Distance-wise, my body. <laughs> You're, uh, ten feet. Ten feet. Okay. What do we want? Eight. Okay, right. All right. Here we go. Eight. Eight. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Let's try and do this. I'm still on the board? You are on the board. All right, here we go. Oh, I hit one. I could hear it. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I did hit one. Yes. Jay, can you please come up here for a second? Everyone, Jay, everyone. Jay, stand right over here. Stand right, right here. Okay, Jay, you, I'm not lying. I did hit a card, right? You did. Yeah. Okay, good. And, and you had the blindfold on. You know you can't see shit in that blindfold, right? Yeah. All right, let's grab 
this card right here. Here, this is the one, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I just want you to, okay. nice and slow, turn that around for everybody. <laughs> yes, sir! Jay, everybody, thank you! Thank you very much. Magnets? Magnets. Okay. That's 85% of magic right there. Mirrors and magnets. Come on. You want to do the rate me again? Am I going up or down? Same. Son of a bitch. That's fair. All right. Do you guys like my shirt? Yeah. All right, because I have one to give away here. Who wants a shirt? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it like that. Where does it go? Yes! All right, it is a medium, so think wisely before you put that on. <laughs> Choose carefully. Oh, my God. The best thing about being a magician is uh, uh, being able to pay your bills super easily, obviously. You're super rich. So magicians are known for. No? Okay. I, uh, no, honestly, it's been crazy because um, when I first started doing this full time, uh, it, it was like really hard, you know, really hard. And then I had some videos on YouTube take off. And then uh, like in late 2014, I had a couple of videos go like super viral. And, and then because of that, I got on some TV shows. And then one of those shows, Penn and Teller Fool Us, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but if you haven't, it, it's uh, Penn and Teller, these legendary Las Vegas magicians. And they have a show where they sit there and they bring out these really, uh, uh, all these magicians they know, and, and, and you do your best act and you try and fool them. And if you, fool, if you don't fool them, they just sort of tell the world how your trick works. And if you do fool them, you don't win anything. It's like, really? But we do it. Like, I don't know why, but we do it. And uh, it's, it's, it's weird, but I did the show and I fooled them. If you haven't seen it, look it up. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> the, but the crazy thing about, uh, about that is the show gets really good views and then they put it on YouTube and then it gets really good views and then from YouTube they ended up putting it on Netflix and when things go to Netflix, shit changes. I got invited to perform for these billionaires at, at their castle. <laughs> billionaires, what? Because billionaires watch Netflix too. <laughs> They don't have their own Netflix. They watch our Netflix, which I didn't know. So they're like, hey, can you come perform at our castle for our family reunion? And I was like, yeah, I went to castles. I've never been to a castle. And then uh, I go down to California. I'm allowed to tell this story, by the way. It's true, but I'm allowed to tell it. I'm just not allowed to say who the family is, but it's the Hearst family. <laughs> if you don't know, look them up. Uh, they're one of the richest families in America, and it's crazy. And, and I go down there, and immediately I'm reminded that, oh, billionaire, because millionaire, some of you might be millionaires. We can all picture a millionaire. We all know what a million is. It's a number you can hold in your head. But a billion, like a million seconds, is like 11 days. A billion seconds is 32 years. Yeah, so that plus money. <laughs> it is staggering. So I show up there, and it's legit. It's a castle on a hill with a river next to it, and then like a bunch of mini mansions, and then uh, bocce courts, multiple. and. Uh, <laughs> Tennis, and then fishing, and a guy, and then a massage, and then art, and then what? And like, they're like, here's your Tesla to drive. It was really confusing for me. Uh, and the grounds were massive, 10,000 acres. I couldn't believe it. And this is just the place they just have, just summer home, whatever. Yeah, we come here just a couple times a year. Cool. So I show up early, because I don't know what to do. And I go up the sort of the back where the deck is, or the veranda, or whatever rich people call a deck. I don't know. I go up there. And as I walk up, there's these two dudes about my age. They're wearing. Uh, they're wearing suits, but they're disheveled. They're clearly day drunk. They're living their best lives. And they've never had jobs. It's part of the family. And they're reaching into these fancy coolers and pulling out champagne and shaking them up and popping the corks into the river and then just rolling the bottles away over and over. <laughs> and they're high-fiving and loving it all. 
And every one of those bottles is like for sure my rent. I'm just like, no, oh, right? like, it's so, so scary. But I'm just standing there watching these, like there's like 15 bottles on the ground and they see me seeing them and they're like, hey man, do you want to try? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like trying to be professional because it's a gig. So I was like, I was like, no, it's probably bad for the fish. And shoot corks in the river, it's gotta be bad for the fish. I was like, oh no, that's what Mitch is for. It's a fucking guy in the water doing this. <laughs> what? Uh, and this guy isn't in hip waders. Okay, he's dressed in, a, in dress pants and a dress shirt. Like, they for sure just found him in the kitchen. They're like, Mitch, get in the water, catch the corks. And this poor bastard splashing around like it's his job. Because it is. Right? And that's where I'm like, realize, oh, me and Mitch, same level. Right? <laughs> the employed. <laughs> So I freak out, and I'm like, I got to go inside. And my friend's like, what kind of magic did you do for billionaires? To tell you the truth, it wasn't even magic the first five minutes. No magic. It was a factual retelling of how I got from Vancouver to their castle. Because there's 25 people in the room ranging from like two to like super old. Like, like dead, but minus a bit. Like whatever that age is, right? <laughs> and it's... And there's 25 of these people, just a huge fan. Not one of them had ever been on a public airplane. I told them stories about waiting in line. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying your own bags. The public plane. And uh, it was weird because uh, they, they just, th that, that blew their mind the most, you know? So afterwards, when I walk around, people are, are normally trying to figure out the tricks, right? Like, oh, I wonder how he did that one. Whatever. I walk around and these guys are like, it's like, a, and then he waited in Seattle on a layover. <laughs> What's a layover? <laughs> oh, a layover is where they fly to the wrong city and wait for a period of time. <laughs> oh, we should try it sometime. Oh, Gordon, we're not young men anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? So I'm like, okay, I got to get out of here. And I quickly go up to the guy that hired me. I'm like, hey, Liam, thanks for having me, man, but I got to bounce. It's been so great. And as I'm talking to him, I'm like, oh, no, we've never talked about any form of payment before. It was like the queen, they just summoned me and I showed up. <laughs> so now I don't know what to do. I'm talking to this guy and I'm like, uh, hey, and he clues in, which is great. And he's like, you probably want to get paid. And I was like, yeah, uh, cool. And he's like, Mitch, bring me some money. <laughs> some money? What is about to happen right now? And Mitch shows up and he takes two steps off this Hogwarts dining hall we're in and he opens a cupboard. What's in a cupboard? Dishes, linens, fucking crackers. But he opens this cupboard and it's just money. There's no safe, no explanation, just money. Mitch grabs two stacks of money, the usual amount for guests, I assume. He hands it to Liam and Liam hands it to me and he goes, does that feel right? I pretend like I've counted my money by weight before. I was like, feel pretty good to me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there. His wife called me later uh, the next day, and she's like, Wes, you left so hurry. You left uh, in such a hurry. Like, I didn't get a chance to get your address or anything or give you a check. I want to mail you one. I was like, mail me a check. I got some money. <laughs> got two stacks of some money. <laughs> You gotta speak their language. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that was just a tip. We want to send you a real check. Cool. Yeah, well, s send as much as you want. <laughs> Here's the address. Keep them coming even. <laughs> Genuinely crazy. I don't remember why I told you that, but I'm glad I did. We're all friends now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, uh, oh, yeah, I remember. Because it was interesting. It was just weird being in a room with uh, billionaires because they don't know. It's not their fault. They've just been born into it. They just have money. They don't understand. Like the, one of the nieces there thought I was pretty sexy, right? She gave me for sure, for sure more than a 7.5. <laughs> you know, like what I deserve, right? <laughs> no? Okay. Just me. I did a sit-up today. Anyways, this niece, she, she's like 26 and she looked at me and she thought, this guy's pretty cool. She started chatting with me, flirting even. And I was like, hey, listen, if I brought you back to my place in Vancouver, you'd be like, uh, you own this building? I'd be like, no. <laughs> I rent that room. <laughs> There's a fucking difference. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, I, I, I want to show you one of the tricks that they, they like the most, and uh, it involves uh, five, five beautiful volunteers. So I need five beautiful volunteers. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> when I say beautiful, someone like 
He means me. <laughs> Indeed, I do. What's your name? Mary. Mary. And who's this? All right, Chris, too. We get two for one. Mary and Chris, come on up here. Well, I need five, Chris. Come on. Let's get both of you guys. All right, let's put Mary and Chris right at the end here, right there. This is on your bucket list to be in a magic show? You're going to love this one. Chris, don't run away. Come closer. It's fine. It's fine. And from this side, a couple people. Yeah, right here. Oh, you're volunteering both of you guys? I love it. Come on down. Come on down. Look at this. We've got Valentine's Day couples coming up. Here we go. Right there, right there, and one, one Lone Ranger. This guy, there he is. All right, come on down. All right, and what's your name? Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea, step down here. And what's your name? Paul. Paul, join the end of the line over there. Everyone kind of step in, so we have one line. Chelsea, Chelsea, you're going to be my main point of contact here, okay? Because you're the name I remember. Okay. Uh, everybody, this is good. Three, okay, two, okay, that's fine. Paul, like your best. Look like you're gonna do some magic at any moment. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Chelsea, this is a piece of canvas, the finest the Dollarama has to offer. You excited? Uh, I would draw on this side, that's just me, but up to you. All right, and I'm not gonna remember any other names other than Chelsea's right now. I'm not trying to slight anybody. I just want you all to know that. Okay, Chelsea, you're going to take a pen, take a pen. Take a pen. Everyone's going to draw something for me. Do not draw yet. And I definitely don't want to see what you're going to draw. I don't want them to see what you're going to draw. So when you eventually do draw in the future, hold it close to yourself. Draw. Draw big enough because later we are going to look at them. But right now, don't. Uh, and uh, we're going to draw something. Everyone's going to draw the same thing. I'm not going to look at any of them. Uh, we need something to draw. What should we draw, sir? Dicks. OK. Dicks it is. Wow. All right. Wasn't expecting that. All right, so everyone, <laughs> Chelsea and friends, everyone's going to draw a dick. <laughs> and I think it's good. So just draw me a dick. Um, it could be your dick or a friend's dick, <laughs> the last dick you saw, a dick of your imagination, a dick of your dreams, even, if you, if you prefer. Uh, try and add some details so your dick doesn't look like everybody else's dick. But I think this is important. I'm glad you brought it up and not me. Uh, it's because, because we shouldn't have, like, dick pics are disgusting, and so don't send them, okay? If you're taking a picture and sending it, don't do that, okay? This is the only acceptable way to send a dick pic. Hand drawn, okay? Like, everybody likes a handwritten letter, and those days have long since gone, so we're going to handwrite these letters, if you know what I'm saying. Have you guys drawn your dicks back there? Chelsea, how are we doing? Uh, pretty good. Pretty <laughs> Confidence. All right, whenever you're done drawing your dicks, send your dicks down to Chelsea. I'm not going to look. Don't show anyone. Chelsea, gather all the dicks. I'm sorry for the phrasing here, but you should have five dicks in your hand. I don't know how to... Pull. And then you're going to... You're gonna, fuck it. You're going to mix the dicks, is what you're going to do. Mix them. Just mix the dicks so you don't know which one's where. And then, and then I want all the dicks, so just hand them to me whenever you feel that makes sense. Uh, yeah, mix them. Good. Okay. You got, all right, got them all? All right. All right. Now, I warn you guys, what happens next is, yeah, do that as well. It's all good. Uh, you can cap your pens and, in fact, drop them on the ground. It's totally fine uh, because you don't need them. All right. Now, here we go. So everyone here, stone face, poker face, give nothing away. As a magician, I'm going to be able to tell if you're lying, and I'm going to be able to read your body language. I'm going to warn you. Most guys don't warn you. I warn you at the front. It's your body language going to give you away. So find a position. Like, you got a good position down the end there, how you're standing. That's smart. That's smart. You can hold that. you got muscles, too. I'm just noticing that. Do you see those? It's nice. Okay. All right. Now let's look at some dicks. So give nothing away. This is the first one. Oh, a classic. A classic. The, he wrote Dick Van Dyke. Like a real asshole. Okay. <laughs> Hard to say. I want everyone to look at this. Definitely not you. No, it's not. I can tell right away. There's only a certain number of people up here that know who Dick Van Dyke is. <laughs> Thank you. 
give nothing away. Maybe it's not yours. I don't know. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is a good one right here. Is it upside down? The shadow's not on the bottom? No? This is not chocolate syrup. That is a shadow. Oh, you might be right, though. Fuck it. I don't actually know. You're right. Actually, <laughs> sorry. Maybe it is chocolate syrup. I stand corrected. This is a beauty. Okay, here we go. Uh, everyone say no to me. Everyone look me in the eye and you say no, whether it's true or not, okay? You just, everyone saying no. Here we go. Is this your dick? Okay, right away. Is this your dick? No. <laughs> is this your dick? Is this your dick? Is this your dick? Crazy. One more batch of nose. Is this yours? 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 No. Hold this. I feel like it's yours. I don't know. It's weird for me. It suits you. Oh, what the hell? Beautiful. I just hang on to it for a second. I don't know. This one might be traced. I don't know yet. Also you. Oh my god. Vain or no vain? That is the question. I'm going to tell you right now, a dude did not draw this. And, uh, now this one, I gave it to him and he immediately handed it to her. I think it was his dick, but I think she drew it. I don't know why. <laughs> and you came up here by yourself, so I think you're just letting the world know what's up. <laughs> Which is, it's a smart ploy, really. And these two look very similar. <laughs> you don't gotta be a magician for this one. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, hold your dicks out. <laughs> yeah, those, that's right. Okay, and on the count of three, if you're holding the one you drew, you're going to just let it fall to the ground. One, two, three. Hey! Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Take your seats. Take your seats. Thank you very much. Wonderful job. Wonderful job. Wonderful job. I take pics of all of them. I'm going to put out a book eventually because it's very important. I send these to my brother and my wife. My wife thinks it's hilarious. My brother hates it. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Amazing. <laughs> Who is the name of the person that drew this? Mary. Mary. Dick of the day to Mary. Nicely done. The, the very highly coveted dick of the day. Dick of the day. I don't really don't know which way's up. I'm going to go with my shadow feeling. Dick of the day. We like to sign the dick of the day. And that's clearly going your front entrance way, obviously. <laughs> dick of the day. <laughs> and you've been on stage at a magic show. Oh, yeah, at least uh, 25 bucks. <laughs> if Chris signs it, two grand. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Not even close, but that's what he's saying. Okay. <sighs> so good. Okay. Uh, mind reading is scary, and we are kind of friends now, so I will get to it, but I'm just not good at it. So I'm going to hold it back, you know, just like, <sighs> uh, what I want to do before that. Let, well, uh, let's test it right now, real quick. And what was your name, sir? Arnold. Arnold? Arnold, name any color. Blue. Red. See, what the fuck? <laughs> Arnold. So we're going to come back to it. <laughs> Whew, that's scary. Okay, well... Live and learn, we'll find our way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's try one more test here. Uh, name the color? Red. Yes! <laughs> Join me on stage, good sir. <laughs> Round of applause for our brave friend here. All right, let's have a seat. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Let's have a seat, have a seat.
All right. Now, what was your name again? Arnold. 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 You know it's red, which is good. You know it vanishes, right? Yeah. You know it reappears? Yeah? Okay. You know there's two sometimes? Okay, good. You're on top. Okay. So it vanishes, right? Joins the other one. Okay? Here, hold out your hand. I got this guy. Here, squeeze that one. Squeeze that one. Hang on. No, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate it. Did you hear that? <laughs> Just fear. Just fear. All right. Use your other hand this time. Okay? You're going to take them both. Squeeze really tight. All right? Okay, now hold it a little higher like this. Don't open it. Just hold it like this. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. Turn your hand over. Oh. <laughs> right? Sorry. All right, this is, a, I just, this is a little test just to see if you're ready. And you're ready. Okay, I just got to put these away. Hey, I just only need one. Let me just get up to one for a second. Let's get to one. Sorry, it just takes a second to get down to one. So it just takes a second. Hang on. One second. We'll get to it. <laughs> it's going to be good. We'll get there. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Another one. So many. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. I always forget about this one. You ever forget that one? Yeah, me too, right? It's fun. Okay. I don't know. Which hand do you think it's in if I do that? Which hand do you think? Right? Because I don't even have to do the trick to you. It's right here. Oh. <laughs> I like your style. No, no, seriously. I'm going to put it in there. When I open my hand, it's going to be gone, okay? Not yet. Just relax. Okay. No, no, seriously. Focus, 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 focus. <laughs> Good. Huh? Want to see it again? Please. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now some magicians they put it in this way, but they steal it out like that. You see that? You're using the other hand, like they're sneaky. They can see it. You can't see it. But if you go in that way, you can steal it. But if I go straight in, yeah, you can see it the whole time. Right? Yeah. Here. Come on. Come on. Hold your hand. Hold your hand. I'll drop it on. You. Right? Yeah. It's not. It's crazy. I don't know. Wow. It's all about the angle because, like, if they, if, like I said, if I did it that way, you'd be able to see because I put it, but it's not really, I'm just taking that one. It's, it's complicated. It's hard to say. <laughs> Hold your hands up, like, cup your hands, cup your hands, cup your hands, cup your hands. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Let's try a shoe. Let's try a shoe. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We got half a sock, too. We don't want that, okay? All right, that's weird. Hold your hands up. We got one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> There's 200 people here, nobody even told you. <laughs> no one went like, he's throwing them over your head. I don't think you have any friends here. Who'd you come with? My oh my God. What do you give this guy out of 10? 10, yeah. I see it now, I see it now. All right, stand up for a second, stand up. All right. Okay, now. <laughs> uh, this is part of a really old show I used to do. You guys learned secrets for a four-year-old magic trick. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, uh, Arnold. <laughs> Are you a physics man? <laughs> My physics man. Oh, okay. I'll show you a quick physics experiment I learned from another magician. You stand like this. Watch this. You take the thick part of the tie and you roll it up. Okay, and you hold it like that. You take the thin part of the tie and you roll it up separately, but about the same amount of tension. And you hold that. You're going to let them go on the count of three. And we're going to see which one unrolls quicker. A little physics experiment. Okay? One, two, three. It's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> Such a weird pun. I love it. You're doing good. Hey, Arnold. <laughs> You're going to use that at every wedding you go to from now on, I can tell. Okay, Arnold, your job is going to be to stand right here behind this mic. Talk into that mic and see if it's on. Hello? Yeah, perfect. All right. I'm going to be the guy with one shoe on for no reason. Such a, hang on a second. This is so lopsided and dumb. I shouldn't have done the shoe thing, but no one was going to tell you I was throwing the balls. All right. Okay. Arnold. If, I, if you stood there and I stood here and I were to write on this notepad, you would not be able to see what I can read. No, I can't. No. Yeah, you can't read this. No. Good. Okay. Now, this is the plan. Do you know what mentalism is, Arnold? <laughs> yeah, me, I guess. <laughs> it's a tricky question. It's a weird word. Mentalism <laughs> is sort of like mind reading. Mentalism is kind of like mind reading. It involves sort of mind reading and like predicting the future and whatnot. It's hard to explain. 
uh, and, it, and, and it can be uh, very difficult to do, and I'm going to attempt it right now. Uh, I'm going to attempt to predict what Arnold will say. Okay, so Arnold, I'm going to write down my three predictions here. Your job back there, no matter what I say, just say nothing and think nothing. Can you do that? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So from this point on, say nothing, but also think nothing. Because in a minute, in a minute you're going to name a color, but not right now. Just think nothing. I'm going to try and predict what color you might say. Mm, maybe. I'm pretty good with the colors. So I think, I think that'll be good. I find this stuff very difficult. I'm not much of a mind reader guy. So, uh, okay, the next one will be a number between one and a thousand. That's a bit trickier because it's a lot of numbers. Um, but hey, trust yourself, Wes. You can do it. Trust yourself. Trust, no, this is going to be wrong for sure. Super fun. <laughs> you guys can feel that's just a bad number. To, it's not going to, that's terrible. Okay, whatever. Two out of three, one out of three. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I, feel, I don't feel good about this now. Um, stay with me. Stay awake, Arnold. Okay. Um, is it hot in here? Do you feel that now? Because the last one's an animal. But Arnold might even know animals. I don't know. But we're going to try an animal. It's so annoying. Okay, I'll, I'll just don't rush from the stage. I'm just going to chill out. Oh, lady. <laughs> right? <sighs> All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go for an animal. I don't care. I don't care. Arnold, baby, I think I got... I'm locked in. You guys can see I'm locked it in. <sighs> All right. Um, Arnold, you're now allowed to speak. And the first thing you're going to do, nice and loud, into the microphone, is name a color. Red. <laughs> Buddy, remember back in the thing when you were like red? Remember earlier, the one you said? <laughs> Try again, Arnold. <laughs> what was that other color you said, Arnold? Remember that one? Blue. Hey, oh shit. Count it as a win because it's going to get real bad from here. <laughs> Arnold, let's lock into that path of thinking here, okay? So now give me a number between one and a thousand. 998. Nine, Don't think so hard. <laughs> Stick with blue. <laughs> Come on. Arnold. 998. Nope. <laughs> nope, you're not doing it right, Arnold. Give one more chance here, man. It's Seven. very obvious. Just go Seven. for it. What's that? Seven. That's one of the numbers. <laughs> Last chance, Arnold. <laughs> What's he doing back there? <laughs> you're thinking too much. I am. <laughs> How hard is your job, Arnold? <laughs> How fucking hard is your job? <laughs> your job's read the goddamn shirt, Arnold. Sure. This fucking shirt, Arnold. Oh, blue one. Second. Holy blue. shit, Arnold! Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Can't see the goddamn shirt. I wasn't looking at the shirt. I'm up here being like, can this fucking guy read? You know how stressful that is. All right, camera guys, hard cut. We'll take it again. <laughs> Chug, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Full disclosure, I was going to turn around anyways. I don't care. That's the, that's the beauty part of this trick. Because the, um, the goal of this trick, right, is for you to say all the things I wrote and them to be like, magic's real. <laughs> and then at the end, me to be like, ha-ha, fuckers, and turn around. <laughs> that was going to be the fun of it. You stole that from them. <laughs> But they also let you get balls thrown over your head like an asshole, so I guess it evens up. That's fair. That's fair. Arnold, I'm going to be honest with you. You didn't get the, the right color the first time. And then you didn't read my shirt. <laughs> and this is not your fault. This is definitely my fault. But you forgive me if I'm not going to do a third trick with you right now, right? <laughs> Good man. Arnold! I was seen Arnold! You're a good guy. Oh, he did his best with a better magician. And that would have been good. All right, let's try this. Let me preface this trick. I need someone I can trust. <laughs> Hands are shooting up now. All right, let's take this lady right here. What's your name? Oh, I already know you. I want someone I don't know. I already know you too. I want someone I don't know so well. I don't know you very well. What's your name? Yeah. Sorry? Brittany. Brittany, everybody. Here she comes. Come, to the... Come up here, Brittany. 
<laughs> you're done good, Arnold. I'm just messing with you. All right, Brittany, how you doing? All right, you're gonna stand right over there. Okay. All right. Now, uh, are you in a relationship? Yeah. Is it is that person here? Yeah, Aiden. Aiden, right on. Okay, is he bigger than me? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, he's uh, strong. But he's, he's strong. He's nice. Yeah. No. Okay, good. Yeah. I noticed when you answer that first, you like look down. You're like, not really, and that's good. I appreciate that. Okay. Did you see some of the drawings we had earlier? Pretty yeah. great, right? <laughs> Where's the best guy gone? Yeah, he's yeah. That's uh, bigger than no. Okay. All right. So, gonna get right into it here. Uh, you, I, I'm gonna read your mind. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, in order to do that. Uh, you can't just go thinking any thoughts because that doesn't work. And, uh, and also you're not going to read my shirt because that doesn't work. So we're going to get you to think, uh, let me get you to think something here. You're going to pick one of these cards, okay? There's about 40 here and they all say different things. They're very simple things. Like I said, I'm no mind reader, but I'm willing to bet a lot of things that I'm going to get this one. Right. They're just simple ideas. I don't want, really want you to see them right now. Simple words, simple ideas, stuff you could picture. Stuff you could, I don't know, you could uh, probably draw. Yeah, easy stuff, okay? Nothing complicated. I know all these words. Okay, and I'm gonna set them down one at a time. You just say stop whenever you feel like it, okay? <laughs> stop. Okay, take this one, don't look at it. Just hold it against yourself. Okay. Don't let anyone see it. I mean, you're gonna have a, like a peek, but I don't want anyone else to sort of see it. So just have a little peek so you're the only one who knows what it is. You got it? Yeah. You know it? Yeah. You read it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like if it was standing right in front of you on the back of a shirt, you'd know what it says, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because this one's going to get real dicey. Uh, I'm going to bet you, okay? You ever play strip poker? Just between you and me. No. No? Okay. No. Well, that's fine. This is like that. Same okay. rules apply. Um, I'm going to guess things, okay. and if I get anything wrong, I'll take off a piece of clothes. Okay. And you risk nothing. Okay. This <laughs> is so just all good. It's good, yeah. Or bad, depending on how you look at it. Somebody whistle? <laughs> no? Okay. <sighs> Brittany, one T or two T's? Just before I start. I'm just, my, my name. Yeah, yeah. Two. Two T's, that makes sense. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Um, this word has a vowel. Yeah. Off to a good start. <laughs> all right. Alright, um, let's see here, I'm going to go for, uh, right out of the gate, I'm going to give it, <laughs> is it cat? Is it? Cat. No. No. Hang on a second. I'm trying to just man of my word here. Right. Okay. <laughs> I know. This is my body. I'm not proud. Okay. That didn't go well. Um should have put the shoes back on. Okay. <laughs> Uh, is there, oh man, let me see, uh, I'm really reaching out, is there, uh, is there an R? No. What? It is not an R. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on, this is like, <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Precautionary measure here. <laughs> just gotta, just, yeah, it's, well, I don't know. I thought you read the thing, right? Okay, well, let me just gear down here real quick. Hang on a second. Okay. No R. All right. <laughs> not, the, not the response you want, but that's fun. <laughs> not what you're looking for. How fun that trick wasn't? Okay, all right, here. All right. <laughs> Running out of choices here. Fuck. Okay. 
Uh, there is, there's an E? Yeah. yeah, okay. Fucking rights. All right. <laughs> Woo! And this is something you do? Yeah. Have you done this? Yeah. You've done this, okay. <laughs> Have you done this a lot? Yeah? yeah? All right. <laughs> Solid. Um, have you done this today? Yeah. <laughs> nice. uh, when was the last time you think you did this? Before the show. Before the show. <laughs> so good. Easy. Okay. Now we're on. I should have thought of that before. Um, would you, who do you normally do this with? Normally. Would you do this with me ever? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that? Yeah, pretty good. Um, who who was the first person you ever did this with? Oh, ever. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like ever? You don't remember? No, because I don't know. It's a long time. Is it, is it, is it sex? No. No? no. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, baby. It's a real show, 18 plus, okay. <laughs> you don't wear double underwear? You gotta wear double underwear, you don't know when you're gonna get in the game. It's the last pair of underwear I got on. You got that? Okay, good. <laughs> what is the card? Because we're done. Like, I can't. I don't want to risk it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's E. E. It's crazy. I think you're just trying to get me naked. Because don't you remember back when I had that one here? Remember when I had that? When I had E? Yeah. Thank you very much. Good to everybody. Thank you. I appreciate you guys coming out. I really do. It means the world to me. I don't think you guys realize how much it means to, uh, to me. Oh yeah, it's going to get real sincere right now. Sorry. If this will help you. You're good now? Okay. Sounds good. It means the world to me that you guys came out. I, uh, I hope you had a good time. I, I would like to say that uh, it's weird being a performer. Uh, I remember seven years ago, I had a day job. It's been seven years since I had a day job. And seven years ago, when I had a day job, I didn't know I was going to quit my day job. I didn't know. I really didn't. I was doing magic sort of for fun. And then I walked into my boss's office one day, and he was like, hey, we want to give you a promotion. And I was like, I quit. <laughs> and he's like, I don't think you know what promotions mean. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to be a magician. And he's like, sorry? And then I left. And it was very confusing for everybody involved. And I, uh, I, got, I remember I got in my car and I shut the door and I opened the door and I threw up and I shut the door again and I drove home. And it was, I'm like, oh, I'm a magician, I'm a magician now. And, um, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and it's crazy because it's, it's really good to be me. And there's two reasons for that. And one of them is, uh, is my wife. Because, I know, too sap. Too sappy? It's okay, we'll bring it around. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's true, because when I quit that job, we'd only been dating for like one month at that point. So she's, she's seen it all. And back when you have a normal job, especially when I had a nice government job, you could see the promotions, the one they tried to give me, and the next one, and the next one, and the, the pension retirement plan, and you could see where the trajectory of your career, but I just had a flash for my eyes, and I was like, I don't want to be here 40 years, I don't want to do it. So then I quit to do this, and this job, I don't know. You don't have the trajectory. I couldn't tell you honestly if I'm at the start of something huge, or I'm at the top of something that's been pretty good for a little while. <laughs> very scary. So if you told me seven years ago I'd be standing in my underwear on the stage right in front of you guys, like, that's all I've done? No, I'd be really happy. I'd be really happy. And that brings me to my second point. The second good thing about being me is you guys. 
So thank you for coming up. I really mean that. It, it blows me away. And, and today I'm trying out a, a, a whole new hour of stuff that I wanted to, I wanted to show everybody and, and, and see how people like it. So I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I encourage you to support anything live, whether it's music or comedy or magic or whatever this was. <laughs> it really means the world to us and it means the world to me. So thank you guys very much. Hope you had a good time. Thank you. Thank you. There's no curtain. It's just me now. It's just me. Thank you guys. The show is amazing. Wes is so funny and so talented, and uh, yeah, everyone should go. The mix of comedy and magic is unbeatable. He's got such great rapport with the audience. Yeah, I think it was a really great magic show. It combines comedy and magic, and it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it was so cool. I I haven't been to a magic show before. And look, money! It was, I was impressed. Yes. It was very Give it to me, Wes.